What's up guys? Hey, this is Steve Larson. This is Sales Funnel Radio and today we're going to talk about how I craft offers. I've spent the last four years learning from the most brilliant marketers today. And now I've left my nine to five to take the plunge and build my million dollar business. The real question is, how will I do it without VC funding or debt completely from scratch? This podcast is here to give you the answer. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my online business using only today's best internet sales funnels. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. All right, guys, I have talked about this topic a lot. You guys know that's kind of my thing. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm known for uh, is offer creation. Um, I thought, how cool would it be? So here, here's what happened, okay? About, uh, I don't know, it was like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, um, the affiliate uh, program for the 30 Days book was about to go out. And uh, I thought, how cool would it be if you guys watched me create the very offer that I was gonna sell back to you when you bought the, bo uh, bought the book through my link? Right? Does that make sense? I was like, what if I crafted the very thing that, that, that I'm going to give you all the bonuses? What if, I, what if you watched me work through that in front of you, the very people that I hope would go get the book through my link? A little ballsy, but I have used the format a lot, right? And so uh, that's exactly what I've done for you guys. So I'm excited because what I'm going to share with you guys today, um, um, it, it, and it, the whole video is like, a, like an hour and 45 minutes. I took like a 15 minute chunk, okay? And you guys are gonna watch me go in, and I think I'm doing it with socks, okay? Uh, just as an example, I'm trying to share with you guys. Um, now, I'm not giving you guys pairs of socks when you got the book through my link. But what I'm trying to do is I want you guys to see how I'm gonna work through a very simple way to create offers. Now, there's like a full-fledged way that companies pay for me to come out and fly out and do like a, like a solid eight hour thing with them um, to actually craft on a very detailed level what their offer is actually going to be, the sales message behind it, the funnel that would best carry that, that offer and the sales message to their market. All right, that, that's fun, that's awesome, that's really intense, that's expensive, okay? The, 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 uh, what I've done here is I, as I grabbed out for you guys, um, I'm using the example of how, how could you turn socks into an offer? Okay, selling socks on Amazon, how could you do it, okay? Uh, I, I teach a lot on stage these concepts, okay? And the thing that drives me the most crazy is when someone's like, um, this, uh, this doesn't apply to me because I'm in retail. <laughs> this doesn't apply because I'm in B2B. Excuse me, I sell things on Amazon, I can't make offers. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go through this and work through this together. So one of the examples I like to use is socks. So I'm gonna actually, in front of a live group, I think there's like, in the video you guys will see, there's like, it's like 75 people that are on with me. And, um, um, I'm going to use them and market feedback to actually craft an offer around socks, okay? And uh, it's very loose. It's a very, very light, okay? You guys are gonna see a very, very top-down, very simple formula that I use uh, to, to roughly, very easily, kind of rough draft outline, figure out what an offer might be, okay? That was obviously the bigger, deeper process that I actually go through when I'm about to launch something, okay? But I want you guys to see how I would do this and how I would craft it around socks. So anyway, uh, and I'm trying to choose things that are like ludicrous, okay? We could use this, we could do for two Toothpicks, okay? We could do for anything. Uh, it, the product, price point, industry, okay? Uh, your sales ability, if you've ever done a funnel, regardless of funnel type, that has nothing to do with offer creation, okay? You gotta get that out of your mind. It has nothing to do with it at all. So I thought I'd choose something that's kind of crazy. And you guys can see how I would go in and, uh, and craft an offer around socks. Now, I've been really, really excited and tickled pink a little bit because on, on Amazon, I was buying a jump rope because, you know, I, I, I like to exercise in the morning. And, um, I, uh, I like to jump rope a lot to, to warm up. And uh, you know, like the boxer jump rope, like phew, the Rocky style. <laughs> anyway, I was buying this jump rope on Amazon and the dude had an offer for his jump rope. Okay, it's super cool. It's one of those speed ropes, okay? And uh, there was like, you would get this course. It's a two week program so that you know exactly how to use your jump rope. Um, there was this awesome extra parts that they featured out with it. There were there was this cool little bag. You were invited into the special community. It's a freaking jump rope, okay? And they went in and it was literally an offer. And I was like, cool. They solved my need to be part of other communities. There literally is one. Uh, they solved my need of a, well, what kind of program should I follow? Bam, guess what? We gave you one right here. Boom, two week one came with it. Okay, well, what about this? What if something breaks? We got the parts for you. You know what I mean? They had crafted this amazing thing around jump ropes. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to share with you guys multiple ways to create offers, regardless of what you guys sell. And so we're going to cut over here now and it's me sharing my screen. So if you guys listen on iTunes, it might be helpful for you to go listen on um, YouTube if you want to. And honestly, you can hear totally fine though on iTunes also. But um, Listen to the questions. Listen to my my 
Listen to the way I'm walking through it to make sure that I am crafting a cool offer around socks, okay? Now, this is a 15-minute version. Obviously, there's a lot of other things I'm probably about to toss in there, but I want you to see um, uh, the structure and the questions that I'm asking in order to actually do this. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the episode. Let's go over there now. Bye. What I wanna do here is I'm going to go through and I'm gonna detail through and show you guys how these big guys actually do it. Because when I first was on my own doing this kind of stuff, the issue that I was, uh, the, the, the big flaw that I was committing was that I promoted by literally walking around and doing exactly, go, go open your, I invite you right now, go open up your inbox and open up your email and just start counting all of the all the promos that you're getting hit with. I already see one from a lot of big guys, I'm not gonna name by name, okay? But it's the same freaking email, right? Again, there's nothing wrong with that if you're gonna get just big people, just people to promote in general. Pre-writing the emails is a good thing. But that is not the way it is actually done um, with these big, big players that are actually serious, okay? And I wanna, I wanna share with you guys some strategy behind this that frankly, I don't think I've ever shared with anyone before. Not that I'm trying to keep it tight. I just, I've never had a platform. There's no reason for me to share this yet. So um, uh, when I first saw this in action, Okay, I was, I was, I was in, I was, are you guys excited, first of all? Is it cool if I kind of geek out for a little while here? I need an actual soapbox. Like, how cool would that be if we had a soapbox that I was actually on? If anyone knows where to get custom soapboxes made, please let me know, because I want to make one, okay? <laughs> anyway, three, yeah, three, yeah, three, three, all right, yeah, right? You guys like the capitalist pig shirt? You got three already, you got a whole bunch already? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, I want to share with you guys the issue with that, okay? I don't care if you're making your own products or you're promoting somebody else's. I'm gonna teach you how to go in and do this stuff uh, from, from a marketer's perspective on how to actually promote someone else's product. Again, I'm not here to slap people around like, psh, 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 right, that's, oh, that's crappy, that's crappy, don't do that, right? But I am here because I want to share with you guys that there is a total junky way to do this and a real way to do it that actually provides value. I am a firm believer in something that Todd Brown said. Todd Brown said, if you have nothing else of value to say, you need to end your funnel. Okay, and if I'm taking the same white copy that all these people have come in and are getting and I'm blasting the same, because I want you to buy the book, it's my affiliate link. I'm going to be open about that. I'm cool with that. Okay, but what I want you to understand is that if I do it the exact same way, that is the epitome of a freaking red ocean, right? Part of a red ocean is understanding not just what people are selling, not just how they're selling it, right, as far as the actual messaging goes, but the funnel they're selling it with. And if I'm blasting out the exact same material, so I wanna show you guys, uh, I literally, literally 30 minutes ago, okay, I was getting some water and I was sitting there and I was like, how am I gonna do this different than everybody else? And real quick, I, 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 I lodged it into this framework, okay? And I wanna show you what the framework is. And you guys, a lot of you guys know what it is if you guys have been following me, but I'm gonna show you how I'm using it differently than you probably are anticipating, okay? I wanna show you guys how I'm actually doing this in a way to actually make, guys, my offer for you guys for getting this book is gonna be better than everybody else's, and I know that. And I wanna show you why, okay? <laughs> Check this out, okay? Any questions before we get started? I'm like so hopped up on goofballs right now. My left eye's starting to twitch, which means this is about to be amazing. So if you got a question, you need to drop it out right now. I'm really stoked about it though, okay? What's up? Oh man, we got a bunch of guys jumping on in here. And I, I, I'm sorry for all those who didn't get on earlier. Uh, eBay vintage soapbox, no way. Kirk, you found one? Oh, sick, okay, sweet. Let me open that in a new tab. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, get the fish, wait, I need, oh. Hey, can you fish slap, uh, fish slap over at me? Fish slap. Fish slap, thank you. Boom! Okay, I'm gonna fish slap the crap out of out of, out of the junky, poopy ways to go promote people's stuff. Okay, I've got I've got affiliate outrage. I filmed all but three videos. It's almost ready. It's out. Of, it's almost done. And what I want to do is I want to share with you guys. I'm gonna put this in as a little bonus with it. Okay, uh, for day like one and two to show you guys how to create affiliate offers. Okay, it's the same freaking concept. Okay, what happened was I was sitting. I, I was only I had only been at ClickFunnels for like two months. Okay. And I was sitting right there. I was sitting right there. What's up, Jay? How you doing? They go, breathe. I, I don't know if I can breathe. <laughs> what the freak is breathing and relaxing? Whew. I've been told I should start meditating, and I can't figure out why still yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, uh, but this is what I did, okay? If you want to promote like an idiot, like I said, go around and just start sharing the link. That's a dumb way to do it, though. Okay? Yeah, very eager for affiliate outrage, uh, Elaine. I, I, it's almost done. It's almost, it's almost done. I got three more videos to finish filming. We got to chop them up, and then I'm writing some emails. But most of the pages are already done. It's close. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to have it. Okay. Anyway, let me come back over here real quick. Uh, to, to here we go. Okay. 
So I was sitting there. I'd only been working at ClickFunnels for about two months, and and um, Russell he turned around and in all great ideas he did this, dude, dude, right? <laughs> and he he goes, man, you know Stu McLaren? I was like, yeah. He goes, he's got this thing coming out called Tribe. I was like, okay. And he's like, and I want to promote it because it's really good. Um, and, he, and he didn't he doesn't promote much many people's things, right? But when he did, it was very methodical. So I want to walk you through the process that I watched him do and that I now do, and I'm trying to teach you to do as well. And I'm doing it right now to you, hoping you'll buy the book through my link as opposed to everybody else's because I'm going to outvalue them, okay? And here's, here's why, okay? Let me walk you through this. The first thing, the first thing that he said, actually, let me just stop sharing the screen real quick here. Uh, it doesn't matter yet. Okay, cool. The first thing that he said was this. He goes, oh, man, okay. So they're, I want them to go buy Stu McLaren's product Tribe with my affiliate link, right? I want to promote it. And I was like, okay, cool. And he goes, what could I, like, what else could I give with that? I was like, what do you mean? And until then, I had never considered the fact that he was going to create an offer around the person's affiliate link, okay? Okay, so, so check this out, okay? So the promo for this book is going to go for a little while here, but I want to share with you guys, I want to share with you guys some pretty sick stuff here, okay? <laughs> I'm about to pull a ninja move. Uh, uh, man, no one's freaking done this before. Oh, so excited to be the first, baby. Whoa, yeah, right? <laughs> anyway, okay, check this out. So what we did is we said, first, first, actually, let me show Google Sheets this. First, at the very top, we've got the affiliate link that we're gonna promote, okay? Let me zoom in right here, right? And this was the uh, uh, the affiliate link itself, right? The affiliate, uh, the affiliate product. Now, now, now you can start by asking yourself this question, okay? Okay. So let me just walk you through the process, and then, and then, we'll, and then we're going to do this together for for something else, okay? And so, so that you guys can follow along, okay? So check this out. If I've got this affiliate product that that I'm going to go promote, the simple question I was, I think I was in the shower, which is all great ideas for some reason come to me there, and I was like, oh, this is a great question to ask yourself in order to create of offers, right? In order to turn a product into an offer, because they're not the same thing, right? What could I do? Okay, this is what you gotta ask, okay? Every time you buy a product from somebody, right? You also get with it a set of problems, okay? Every time I get, every time I give you guys a, something like affiliate outrage, right? Affiliate outrage is coming out soon. Every time I give you guys something like that, I also am giving you guys a whole bunch of problems, Right to go solve, which is the reason why it's a series because I'm trying to solve those problems. But what, wait, wait, what did I just say? What I'm saying is if I can go and identify future problems, problems that my product, right, or in this case, the right, this product will create, right. I want, I want to go in and I want to identify what are all the future pro Is this making sense so far? I should go back and probably look at the chat real quick here. Is this making sense? Ninjury, going to have to remember that one. <laughs> uh, didn't you have secret MLM hacks before you left ClickFunnels? No, I didn't. I had no product. Hey, I had nothing. I don't think people know that. <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a ballsy move, but this is the reason why, okay? This is the reason why I was not crazy. I mean, anyway, I got some episodes coming out soon to describe more of that so that you guys know what actually happened. Uh, but anyway, okay, so if I have an affiliate product, let's say for some reason I'm going to go, I don't know, let's say uh, let's say this gum. Let's go, let, just for fun, let's do this. What issues do I cause for a person when they buy this gum, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start listing out all these problems. Holy crap, check out, check out this problem. Oh, man, look at this problem. Oh, look at this problem, right? If I go, this is very simple, right? If I go and I still have the, if I still have this, this person's affiliate product right here, if I go and match a product that solves that problem, okay, I now have an offer, okay, okay. I use uh, the example of socks a lot too. Let's say socks, right? Let's say I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna sell socks. Let's say you're probably, that's why I, I like die inside when someone's like, well, I don't know if I can use this because I'm in retail. Like, great, there's no difference for you, right? Uh, so let's say I'm going to sell socks. What are all the follow-up problems you guys would you guys would uh, uh, think happens? Right? What are the problems that you create for somebody when you sell them a pair of socks? This is totally interactive. I'm actually here to, to listen to you. Okay? We should totally keep that in the office just for that reason. Exactly. 
bring poverty in and hit a few times. This is awesome sauce. <laughs> He's had some upgrades, man. You I actually brought him in a few future episodes. You guys will see him. Okay, but what are all the problems I create for somebody when I sell them a pair of socks? What, 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 what can you imagine? What are the future issues they'll run into when they have when they use my product? Yeah, maybe the feet are too warm, right? Right? Letitia said the feet are too warm. Let me uh, let me get this over here. Thanks for the soapbox thing, man. I'm stoked about that. But anyway. Right, they don't know how to put them on. I mean, funny enough, that might be one of the things, right? So they don't know how to put them on. Let's list these out. Dry feet, right? Uh, uh, dry feet. How how do I put them on? On uh, too warm, right? Whole bunch of whole bunch of things right here, right? Uh, uh, yeah, how do I keep them clean? Stinky feet, my size. I'm trying to I'm trying to choose a ridiculous example so you guys see how easy this really is. Okay, what size do they stink? You know, is uh, um foot care in general, right? So think about this, right? Uh, what shoes go with these sizes? Yeah, exactly. I'm getting athlete's foot, holes, right? You guys are saying them faster than I can ride them, but does that make sense, right? Does it make sense what I'm saying? Okay, now, now, let's go turn, yeah, we need washing, or they're too tight after the first wash, like, right? So there's a whole bunch of problems. Wait a second. You knew the problems before you sold it to them. Huh. You guys can probably see where I'm going with this, but just follow me for a second. Let's match a product. Let's let's choose um, let's choose uh, the fact that they your feet might stink, the size, and foot care. Okay, let's say that those are the top three problems that I could think of. And if I don't know what the problems actually are, it's really easy. I'm just gonna go look at reviews. Okay, I'm gonna look at reviews. Okay, so what product could I send with the socks in order to fu uh, 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 fit the? I'm sorry, solve the problem of what size should I have? How can I solve that problem, right? And let, let, let's wrap a product with it, right? How do I put them on? <laughs> yeah. Sensitive skin, losing socks, story of my kid's life. <laughs> Letitia, that's funny. Okay, right, what are the problems that I can solve, you know, and what products can I put to solve the problem of, I don't know what size to get, right? I could actually, for their first pair, I could send, uh, uh, I could send two pair of different sizes, right? That way they don't have to deal with like, especially online, man, I don't wanna, I hate it when I find out I get something wrong in the mail and I have to like package it back up, go to UPS and ship it back. That dry, Unless it's like kind of a high ticket thing, I'm just kind of like, oh crap. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna send two pair of different sizes, right? Maybe you were this adult, you got, hey, we got, we got giant Bigfoot sized socks, you know, literally Sasquatch size. <laughs> and then like normal person size, we're gonna send you both to see which one you like with it, right? That makes sense? You see, okay, wait, but we're already, we're already giving them a pair of socks. One pair of socks. Keep that up in case. Okay, this is the main product. Okay, but this is where most people jack it up. Okay, watch this. So, so two pair of socks. No, sorry, one pair of, and now I'm gonna give you two of additional sizes. Now, what could I do to solve the problem of, oh man, I'm not gonna wear socks because my feet are gonna stink. You know what I mean? A ruler, yeah, you can, honestly, yeah, you could send a ruler with them. Al Bundy, <laughs> send shoe puri. It's like poo puri, but for your feet. Boom! There we go. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, shoe, shoe, uh, puri. Uh, didn't spell that right, but it's a made-up word anyway, so that's totally fine, right? Awesome, right? You could also send them to. Uh, you could also send to them uh, maybe something like. Um, uh, what if it was like a guide on how to get how to know what kinds of shoes cause feet to sweat. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? No, no one else, yeah, odor eaters, foot powder, it's kind of like a shoe freshener, give them some kind of perfume, okay? Weird, stupid example, right? I mean, we're talking about freaking socks right now, okay? That's what I'm trying to help understand though with this. Okay, anyway, there's a whole bunch of things we could toss that. Now, what about foot care? You know what would be cool? What if I went out and I interviewed like two or three foot doctors on foot care and I, and I give them, uh, uh, Little known doctor's orders doctor's orders uh, uh, foot care you know sexier name than that but you know what I mean that's what what's what it is we won't call it that but that's what it is uh, foot care uh, it, it could be like three three interviews or three three videos now what's the cost to fulfill on a video freaking nothing okay but check this out. How much have you outvalued your competition with this? 
right? Let's say you're not going to send out actually a full thing of of of, of uh, um, two more pairs of, of uh, two other sizes anyway. I mean, it could be a ruler, right? Just like someone else was saying, it could be uh, or that like that foot map. You know what I mean? You could send over. There was a really cool company that I was do, uh, doing some work with for a little while. What they would do is they'd make these custom rings, and then they would they would. Uh, it was my buddy and I at the time. We we would send them some pictures of rings that we liked because we were trying to sell diamonds and um, they would go and they would craft it out of wax and then they would send the wax replica to us to see if we liked it and then we would say yes or no for the client and then sell the diamond to them at an up, uh, you know, at a, at price and up and uh, which is crazy cool what if you were able to send over to them like one of those you know like those key molds you know what I mean where you put your key in and it's supposed to you can do the same thing with like foot like hey here's the foot mold we're gonna make you a custom pair of socks you know what I mean in reality you could have like three different sizes but that's it's perceived customization right does this make sense oh my lanta by the beard of Zeus the cat's meow the bee's knees that's a freaking offer what is that? That's a stack slide. Does that make sense? Total value, a lot. What is the real price of it? A pair of socks like everybody else, right? You could actually charge a little bit of a premium and nobody's actually going to compete with you on that. Yeah, it makes sense. He's, he's, I'm getting more stuff for it. But really, it's just your first thing you're leading with and then you're getting, you've seen like those, those socks, um, monthly socks companies. I mean, I would totally lead with something like this, right? Hey, you let's 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 take care of your feet and then also make custom ones for you. Like someone who's gonna buy shoe puree <laughs> or socks puree, <laughs> they're 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 probably willing to spend some cash on their socks, right? You're talking to someone who's willing to spend some money on this. Does that make sense? Let me let me come over to the comments real quick. Okay, foot needs to avoid help from foot odor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, or foods to avoid help with foot odor. Yeah, exactly. Jay, 100%, right? May have uh, the sock fairy for the ones that disappear, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That'd be funny. You could go to their house once a week and scrub their socks with Russell toothbrush. <laughs> you remember that, Dan? That's funny. By the beard of Zeus. I was waiting to hear that. That's funny. Okay, does this make sense? Okay. One of the easiest ways. So there is like a gigantic way that's super in-depth to create your offers. And the benefit of doing it the long way is that I actually end up creating my entire sales message at the same time, okay? And it's the reason I do that. And I match I match false beliefs and problems to products in my offer. That's why, the guys, that's why my freaking stuff sells so well, okay? I've got an offer creation book coming out on this very concept, okay? I've done it for a lot of people now. So I wanna ask you guys a question. You guys, how many, how many people have we got? We got a lot of people on here now, don't we? We got quite a few on. I appreciate you guys taking the time here. But what I want to do real quick is I want to do something pretty crazy and, and kind of uh, a little bit ballsy here, okay? This is going to be epic. We have 72 people on right now, and I appreciate you guys taking the time. Um, uh, how does this work when they want to purchase another pair? They already have bonuses, so they need they begin. What's cool about this, uh, Jay, it's a great question you bring that up. Well, the reason why this is such a big deal is because you are able to at least create the relationship, right? Quickly, and then afterwards ask them, right? Like, I would lead this as like a front-end package, and then the upsell is, do you want to get on the monthly thing? You know what I mean? And if they say no, that's fine. I'm still going to follow up with the people who said no and ask them again later. You know what I mean? I just would lead with this stuff because now, now you're like outdoing every other person that's out there. Oh, yeah. Hey, wish you could geek out with other real funnel builders and even ask questions while I build funnels live? Oh, <laughs> wish granted. Watch and learn funnel building as I document my process in my funnel strategy group. It's free. Just go to thescienceofselling.online and join now.